Hi, I'm Sharona Adamowitz Clements, the curator of art at PAMA. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. What about a picture of the artist's studio? All throughout the history of art, artists depicted the studio as a fictional site or as an actual working space. Artists like Rembrandt in the 17th century and Claude Monet or James McNeil Whistler in the 19th century and even more modern 20th century artists like Arthur Lismer of the well-loved Canadian group of seven offered us glimpses into their private world where they would reveal to us a thing or two about themselves. From selective sight lines to the objects and contents that filled their space, they left us clues about their working habits or character traits. Today, artists are coming up with unique ways to give us entry into their intimate space. Consider Guelph-based artist Jack D. Brainer's drawing of his studio, which is right behind me, titled The Fletcher Archive Library of September 2014 to June 2016, which is on display in the traveling exhibition Chase, organized by the Art Gallery of Guelph with the support of the Canada Council for the Arts and now at PAMA. In this work, Reina chooses to focus on a single wall in his studio rather than the entire area. The wall was inspired by a library that the artist frequented while working on his graduate degree. There is no art on the wall. Curiously, it is covered by various notes, letters, and text pinups. At the bottom, leaning against the wall, is a large pile of books. Reina is suggesting to the viewer that his art is informed by ideas and words, an intrinsic part of his working process. Reina is a contemplative artist and is as much interested in the written word as he is in picture making. Simon Hughes is another well-read Canadian artist working out of Winnipeg in California. His take on the artist's studio combines both real and imaginative elements. Red Studio of 2013, also currently on view at PAMA, in the solo exhibition Simon Hughes Works 2001 to 2020, reminds us of the French artist Henri Matisse's famous painting of the same title. But Hughes's work is nothing like his predecessor's conception of the artist's studio. While Matisse offers us a distorted but holistic view into his workspace set against the deeply intoxicating red background, Hughes restricts our viewing experience to one wall, just like Reina. With its single IKEA-like table and wall paintings viewed against an ornate wallpapered interior, we might confuse the image before us for the inside of a living room were it not for the title of the work. However, if you look closely, you might find some telling bits about the space as an artist studio and one that might actually belong to Hughes. There are childlike scribbles pinned to the wall. These are real drawings by his children. The drawings tell us about his familial status as a father, a proud father who has allowed his children's art to infiltrate his working environment. In fact, Hughes sometimes uses his children's drawing as a point of departure in his art practice. Within the studio, we also see a number of artworks, paintings within a painting, if you will. We encounter canvases of ice formation and also a Jackson Pollock-inspired still life, both of which are examples of Hughes' other familiar series of work. Look closely at Hughes' studio. What else do you see that might convey a sense of self? I see a very tidy and organized space where everything has its place. The paintings, the window frames, and the table are all illustrated at a right angle. They are perfectly drafted geometric shapes conveying a sense of rigidity and tightness. Is this a reflection of the artist's personality? What do you think? How do you receive Hughes' or Reina's studio spaces? What makes them unique to the artist? You might say that the artist's studio is a window onto the soul, like a self-portrait, only without the artist's face or body. Staring into the artist's studio is like staring at the artist. Now it's your turn to tell us about your favorite artworks of an artist's studio from art history. Or maybe you would like to share with us your own studio images if you are a practicing artist. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Shawna Clements and I'll catch you next time.